Hello, Wild Wisdom Warriors, and welcome to another episode. Today, in this episode, I would just like to give an energetic update on what is happening with Earth Correction Timeline. So, um, I have a very good news to report, so I'm just going to give you my own personal perspective on what is happening and how I see it from my point of view or from my own being, what is happening um, with um, correction timeline and also what is happening with all that other nonsense that's, that's going on in the matrix. And, and so at this point right now, um, I know many of you watched um, that Revealer's Dialogue on Hyperborea Beyond the Holographic Universe. In that dialogue, we went and revealed um, what Hyperboreans are and how um, all of that is related to us as a warriors because some refer to Hyperboreans as um, a warrior race. And so that's who Hyperboreans are. That's our ancestors, and this is our original um, human movement holders. So they hold the original DNA, and this is who we are as, as the human beings here. We have that original DNA within us, and now it is activating. And this is why we're warriors. And so I started this uh, series because um, this is what was happening. And, and even back in, um, I would say, August, September of 2016, um, there was a lot going on energetically um, still, and the matrix were still very much trying to. Um, I have to say, what was happening is, as I said before, that the actual matrix timeline had ended in uh, the end of 2012. And then 2013 is basically when the Earth timeline activated on the inner planes. And then what had happened is just there was a steps and process that we were going through. And many people reported on that in, in the independent media. Um, uh, people like uh, John Lam Lash reports on correction timeline as well. So um, there was a lot of reports of the shift in energy and what happened. I personally was involved in few energetic um, sort of <laughs> Maneuvers, I guess. <laughs> and so sometimes in September, I'm not sure, but what I witnessed and what I was, um, I was being a part of that as well is there was, um, there was a technology, uh, a matrix technology that was um, a huge piece of it or the, the, the matrix main sort of, <laughs> um, uh, a main technology, whatever that is, that was implementing a hive mind um, integrating, a hive mind uh, controlled new matrix system um, on Earth. They were trying to implement that, but it was destroyed. And so because of that, or due to that, in, in end of September, what had happened is because of that technology was destroyed, um, we were able to push through and go into another level. And so this is when we sort of went into no point of return with Earth Correction Timeline after, after the end of September. And so everything after that started shifting really quick and um, a lot of changes started taking place on an energetic level. And then we had all this more and more waves of this uh, Earth energy that was living field or source field that was able to um, expand. And um, if, uh, if any of you remember my um, original series in 
in those videos, I've talked a lot about Earth energy and Earth living grid expanding and how it was going to go through steps. And at some point, we gonna and I even did the math for it. There's a math for it. <laughs> because all it is, it's algorithm, algorithms of hologram that, that's happening. So we went into original living creation right now. Um, it is fully operational, I could say safely, as of April 1st. <laughs> so we're just a few days in. <laughs> it's fully operational now. But I'll come back to it. I'll go back to what happened after September. September then took us into this energetic shift that was happening more on the collective level, but of course, we as creator beings, as within, so without, we know that pretty good. So that all has effect, and so that's our creation. So um, of course, you're gonna experience it personally. I've experienced my reality, and so for me, it's personal. So I'm talking about this from my own personal perspective. And I say my own personal perspective is from who I am, and who I am is a creator being in human form. I am living source being. And so that's who Hyperboreans are. That's who the warrior race is. So that shift started shifting so much for me on an energetic level. But it also, so destroying or, or doing damage to that technology that was um, implementing this high mind system um, created quite a few reactions and different reactions. And so um, most people that were implementing that, because I've talked a lot before about um, alternative um, independent media and spirituality in, in those circuit, circles are um, it's a techno spirituality. It's very much propagated and I said that most uh, spiritual alternative media was there. I, at some point I said 90% of it, if not 95% of it was this matrix disciples that were um, having this projected programs, um, you know, and there was test subjects, as I would call them, or those that were, or, or they called them matrix disciples in the past. And those were people that through techno spirituality were projecting a high mind timeline, um, uh, control, timeline um, that they were copying um, from an original birth correction timeline, which was funny that they were doing that. And so um, I had a lot of fun <laughs> and a lot of laughs watching all of that stuff showing up. And so when that technology was destroyed, the technology within, within those people or that were being those test subjects, I guess, those that were test subjects started a whole new program. And so it turned really into, it and it become started and because of what happened that technology was destroyed and so what happened is then this grid or the living grid um, started expanding even more within those that were doing the work aligning themselves expanding their awareness and you know working on themselves to reconnect to source um, their mind body and soul and so those people started feeling like the energy within them started expanding and there were things and changes and shifts that happened. And I mean, it took me, uh, I don't know, it's just my life basically just got shredded to pieces 
my matrix life got shredded to pieces and I completely was in this whole new energy. But what had happened with my matrix disciples is I'm going back through this, <laughs> through this little, because I got a different, a little bit of a different perspective right now on what happened in September and what happened in October and, and, and further, you know, and, and my own personal experience. So after, right after that, and almost immediately, after I felt, and in fact, I was at that time, on the end of September, I was here in Mexico at that time too, even though I haven't moved here yet. Um, I was here and I was in the ocean um, swimming and, and I had an amazing experience and, and my consciousness expanded and, and I saw that or I, I understood or, or I knew, <laughs> I knew right there and then that we had passed, first correction of timeline, had passed through some sort of threshold or a, cross line, a crossroad line, and it was huge. It was huge, but I didn't know what it truly meant. It felt really, really important, and it felt really, really big. Almost instantly, I had this, what I can only perceive as some sort of technology that was based here on this plane of existence that was very sort of like a personal mind reader. It really felt to me so for a few days, I had this weird experience where my mind was read for, from external. I even talked about it in one of the recorded sessions with somebody saying that it was this technology, as I can observe it from the zero point, it was reading everything and, and picking up my brain. And basically, just went and just like copied what I was, my thoughts. It was copying the thoughts and, and what I was thinking and everything. It was just copying. And then, boom, the copy started, you know, the copy information started showing up here and there in alternative community, in alternative media. And I talked about it and I said, something is happening because there are, there are there's a still parroting going on, so there's still an attempt to copy the original Earth timeline and reinstall it here, reinstall it as a new matrix. That was the attempt of the matrix desperate disciples, and, and they had no idea what they were doing because, you know, they are contracted souls, so that's, that's what's going on. So a lot of the people in alternative communities started talking about different things, and things were changing, and shifting and then through all of that once that all and then you know there were some things that showed up in october that gave me a confirmation first of all um that the high mind technology that was destroyed was destroyed okay that was a huge confirmation that I got. And then, you know, that, that we are moving into a whole different direction and the Earth's timeline was going to sprout out and boom pretty soon. And so um, kept going and um, we kept having this energetic expansion from within, it was the waves, especially the wave of end of December on Christmas Day, it was unbelievably powerful, so powerful that, it, oh. And then as we went, they were still trying, and, and many of you will know 
how that techno-spirituality was still trying to attach itself somehow, the parasite was trying to attach itself to Earth's timeline, to the original timeline. But to understand how they were able to do that, you have to do your homework, basically, and learn everything which you can about the Chechen mafia in Romania and the living hole of record that they discovered there in 2003. That discovery is the most important discovery from humanity today. What they try to do there is to try to get in. They did get in eventually. It took them a correct DNA, a warrior race, <laughs> DNA to even get into that whole of records. And they only got into a very small portion of it. But once they did get into it and they had a little bit of access to it, they, this is where, this is the source of all that parroted or copied material and, and things that, that were showing up after that. And if you connect the dots and look back at what was happening, you'll see it very clearly when you really know everything about what was found in all the records, how it works, and all of that stuff, it will make it very clear for you how the copying process or the, how they try to reverse engineer a living hall of records. Well, yeah. <laughs> Funny people, <laughs> it's impossible to infiltrate an original DNA because it's, it's, it's untouchable by this, by this idiots that don't know anything because they just want to be, they just want to be, they want to be, they're not in there, but the true human being is standing in living beingness. And they just want to do this. So they copied a lot of, and this living record is actually living because we're creating it in the now moment. It's, it, it is always in the now moment. You can pull the history, but it's recorded in the now moment. So how can you copy a now moment and then reinsert it back into now moment. You can't. And that's why they could not reinsert the matrix system again. They could not copy it. And they made, you know, the people that are contracted souls, and there's quite a few of those in alternative communities. And I spoke out before, and I'm going to speak out right now. You look like retarded, spiritual, retarded idiots right now because you don't understand what human being is. It is beingness in the now. You, a creator being creates reality in the now moment. You cannot predict. You cannot a copy and manipulate true creation. You can't. So, this idiot is running around with the space program, you know, and all of that, and trying to copy a living record. And then, when that doesn't work out, and then they try to copy a living beings. And they come and attach all these parasites to a living being and try to copy that. And then, I mean, it's hilarious at this point. Would you please stop because what just happened with the grid, with the Logos new grid, which is that high, that, that Busegi mountain, 
living hall of records is the logos. It is the original DNA. It is the living record. It's the record of all that it is, it ever was, and it ever will be. Everything. It's the record. It's a living record. They made a copy, Akasha record, so they have the copied stuff, and that's your astral projection and all of that stuff and all this predictions that people do. Those are all projections. They're not living creation. They're not living logos expressed to a living creator being because they're projecting, they're copying all this information, manipulating it to the point to where they can exist through techno-spirituality. It's parasite, is technological in its nature, that's why I've talked in the past about techno-spirituality. This parasite is technological. It's, it operates through nanotechnology and all kinds of other crap. Through the chip in the head, through the you know other technology that was installed earlier, and all of that stuff. There's you know I've talked in the past about pineal technology, and and there's just a lot of technology that's going on. But what they don't recognize, because they're not living beings themselves. A lot of those matrix disciples that are out there, um, I just mentioned the space program. It's a space program that is directly connected to this high mind control system that I was talking about that was damaged or destroyed. They the way it's right now, only uh, very recently, I, I, you know, it's so it's becoming so visible how they um, they try to copy that and then they project it onto humanity. So because when humanity is not aware that they they're creator beings and they are not empowered and they're not standing in their center of their being, um, then they are manipulated through this hive mind programming, you know, previous programming, new programming, um, you know, uh, all of that is projected. So everything what they talk about that, oh, this is what government doing, this is what's happening, or, you know, any predictions about the future don't make sense for a living creator being. So if you do in predictions, you are operating to a high mind record. And that is not real. All it is is a projection of this technology, of archon created technology, archonic grid. This is the high mind grid that they project through. And so what we know now with the living Akashic record being active and the, the library is open right now, that living library with the Akashic record is open right now, that full of records is operational, our original DNA is operational, then when we understand what that means, secret space program, event that people talk about in a funny way about it, you know, all this, you know, projection and what's going to happen to this or what's going to happen to that. It is none of it is real. We have to understand this. This is why I'm making this video. Because if you really truly understand what this latest reveal on the new Logos grid does, it takes out all the program bullshit. 
It's like it takes it out at its knees. It takes it out at its foundation. And it's just going to crumble down. Because those projections that those matrix disciples are just running around and like projecting, 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 projecting. They're operating through this hive mind and they don't even know what they're doing. They think they're trying to help humanity by projecting. Because what this archonic grid to sustain itself, what it needs and what it feeds on, it's on all the negativity, on all the, you know, um, all the negative fear stuff and everything and so you see those people and when you look at somebody knowing that creation happens right here right now in the moment for each human being he is the center of the universe and he's the creator of this universe. So when somebody going around in alternative media and talking about all these predictions that the computer gives them, what they're doing is they're feeding this archonic grid with people's energy that buy into it. And then if people, human being, then accepts that projection and as his creation, then he's been trapped into creating an archonic reality. There is so many people in alternative community that are caught up and trapped in this. And I made a notice when this living grid, global grid, when fully operational on the 30th of March, then that fact is a notice to all contracted souls. That itself, that revealing itself is a notice to all contracted souls to either step into their living field or they will no longer be able to attach to Earth's timeline. They're going to be leave, left behind or whatever is going to happen to them, I don't know. But like I said in the beginning of 2016, 2017, and that my graph for the for uh, New Year, I said 2017 choices are visible. And here we are. Choices are visible because this reveal takes the foundation of Archonic Grid out. It no longer is, like Felicia said. <laughs> it's went into the shredder right there and then. It's been shredded. So now these people are panicking trying to find their little pieces together, how to pull themselves together so they still make sense to people, so they can still somehow try to project something out there that's going to be created because they it cannot create. They cannot create. And this is the only reason, because they cannot create, this is the only reason they go on alternative media and talk about what's going to happen in the future or what's government doing or what's that because they're begging you basically this is a parasite begging you to feed it because it is starving and because it is starving that's why you'll see more and more people popping up with this copy parroted information and and things like that and they don't even make sense anymore because we just went through a threshold of separation of choice. Soul that are living soul can right now step into this grid at any time into now moment into the original DNA 
and accelerate its awareness I don't know how people are going to have still those people that keep projecting on humanity all this negative reality. The reason they are projecting that is because that which possesses them wants that reality. I'm going to repeat that. All those people that project, predict future are only doing that because they're operated, they're test subjects, they're operated, they've been integrated on a personal level, they've been integrated into a high mind system. And so this is like a mini high mind, it's, it's remote controlled human being. There's a lot of remote controlled human beings running around in alternative community right now and projecting on humanity. I think we all know that things have shifted even, you know, just look at what's happening with politics. Look at what's happening with all of this I don't know what else to call it, but this degraded level of um, human existence is, is becoming visible. And so, um, you know, all of a sudden, mainstream media became fake news. And yet, those that project that you know, binary reality on humanity and in the iconic grid, like Wilcox and, and Goo and all the people like him and the ones that talk about Antarctica, what they talk about, they have no clue because that is all also copied and manipulated so it fits and creates our iconic grid. So the real reveal on Antarctica has not happened yet. So with what has been happening, because they're trying to copy it and then they have to jump ahead of time to project something on humanity. And so, but when the now moment flows, they can't control now moment. So things just getting re revealed more and more and more because the now moment cannot be controlled. The original DNA cannot be copied. It cannot be reflected. So what, what they, you know, years ago and like, you know, is that this, this people, you know, like project, Avalon, Project Camelot, Project This, Project That, they're all Archon controlled people that are installing, that, that were copying, and they were, they were, they're slaves. And when I look at them, and when we understand, I'm not, it's not coming out of anger. <laughs> I have no anger. There's just, if anything, I, you know, they're, they are cartoons right now. Because this is literally what they were trying to do. And this is why I call them all clowns. Because they are. What they are projecting right now is this cartoonish reality. <laughs> look at that, uh, look at the, you know, all that, oh, the flat earth theory. Cartoon. Cartoon. Okay? Because, um, yeah, I'm not saying the earth is not, you know, but I'm not saying the earth is a little low. I'm just not going to go into that right now. But what I'm saying is that that, what, what's running, that's a huge program. And when you know what this Logos grid is doing right now and what it truly means, you will understand why that happens. And if you watch 
um, Hyper Warrior 2 show, then you will understand that too. We go a lot into details on, on that as well. So that was totally a program to reinstall new matrix. They're trying to copy the original Earth timeline. <laughs> anyway, back to um, what I was saying. So the, the, that was like right now, once you know the living grid and what, how it works, that thing's going to be so funny and, and we're going to laugh at it at some point as humanity, we're going to have a lot of laughs about it. Um, Secret Space Program is a cartoon. It is a cartoon <laughs> presented to humanity. None of it is real. It was copied. Sphere Alliance are a copy, a cheap copy, <laughs> a really cheap copy um, of a Hyperborean original being. Original Hyperboreans. They copied that. Such a cheap copy, too. So all of that is so visible right now. And so, you know, those people in the mainstream media now that are all from, from you know, Guy MTV, mainstream media, I'm going to tell you right now, 100% knowing here, fake news, cartoon, this techno-spirituality, is so degrading to a human being. When you really look at it, what they're teaching and what they're projecting, when you really look at it, it's so degrading to a human being. It's so disempowering. If you really look at it, the way you, as a human being, being treated by these people, You're nothing but an energy source to them. They only need you to buy their books and for the ratings. Guy MTV just wants you for their ratings. They don't give a shit how you feel and what your real reality looks like. They're not interested in that. They're entertaining you with the cartoonish reality so you can stay zombified. Secret Space Program is, is a zombifying program, just like everything else on TV. It zombifies you, so you just stare at it and have that fluoride stare, when I try to talk to some of these people about the living field or their real reality and what it means to them, they look at me like I am, they have the fluoride stare. They don't know, the hive mind doesn't understand individual expression of source the uniqueness of each human being, the value of each human experience, because this is what this life, this is what this reality is all about, is your soul experience, not a cartoonish reality. So that cartoonish reality is crumbling by the second right now. And the people that are attached to it are gonna go through a lot of panic, 
because they'll be crumbling with it. Like I said in the past, transhuman timeline will crumble. It did. It received a notice on April 1st <laughs> because matrix to a true human being is a freaking joke. It's a joke at this point. And when humanity comes to a point when we collectively can express the living field, then none of this matrix stuff will be difficult to release. We are the ones that sustain in it. So if it still exists in your life, if you still buy into any other reality than your, your own creation, your own universe, if you still accepting all this arconic grid projections into your own personal field, through the Merkaba field, which is a distortion of the, of the DNA, it's the overlay. That's what Merkaba field is. It shows the overlay. If you're still doing that, if you're still stuck in that energy, you're only stuck there because you're the one who created it through accepting projections from the matrix, disciples, and, and you know, to other humans that are willingly or unwillingly being used by the matrix to project and or perpetrate their, that reality. When you understand who you are as a source creator being in human form, and then when you re-collaborate your energy to the living field, and zero point, when you step into zero point, then the matrix field just crumbles. You don't need to put any energy into deconstructing it. What you need to do is expand source within. And so here I'm going to share with you guys um, a proper energetic body. Okay, share a screen here. Okay, so here it is. Okay, I've talked about this before. I made a video about this um, maybe a year or two years ago, um, and that was about symbology, and, and I talked about the distortion of Merkaba field, and in there I was showing this um, proper, which is um, uh, a living sort of um, field. And this is right here, right there, it's the zero point. There's two vortexes coming right here, and so, and this blue here is that Taurus field or toroidal field, then that's, that's the real creation. And so, this is what it is. So, that's a really beautiful um, here, a beautiful, beautiful um, graph. Somebody, it's not mine, I don't know whose it is but I thank you uh, so much for making it, whoever made it, because this is really great. Thank you. So there it is, you guys. Take a look. Okay, this is, not, there, this is no distortions. This is pure um, zero-point expression right there. Okay, so 
talked a lot about that, but I mean, I don't want to laugh too much yet because some people are still caught up in this matrix and they think it's really serious and don't take it any seriously anymore. And uh, the fact that that um, that the notice to matrix was given on April 1st was, uh, was really fun. And so have fun with it, write that and, and enjoy, um, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the laughs. Because it's really is funny. It is done. It is crumbled. It it cannot reestablish itself. Let's just say that there is no returning point point after this. And if you remember my uh, from my previous um, series of videos from two years ago, I talked about um, the effect um, or that how they can. I talked about on that time and time traveling that. That the matrix was supposed to do and then in one of my videos i showed that you know it was going all the way until 2012 it was all operating our timeline was only operating on the matrix timeline so it was a hive mind control pool then then their contract they were also under a contract that they that ended not because you know just earth decided to end it it was going to end. They knew. They had a notice of that. <laughs> so what had happened after that, and after that, even in that video, if you remember, I showed that there was going to be a certain periods of time where they can still affect us, and it will go until 2017. But once we go into 2017, that is no longer the case because we're free of matrix. And Earth plane is free and now we can experience here a true earth experience which is unbelievably beautiful we just need to as humanity to take a stand in our creator being and express the reality that we want to create and express it out from within and that's what we're going to create is going to be amazing here. And the true Earth original timeline is beautiful. The experience is beautiful. It's meant to, you know, this experience will give growth to souls. And, and it's just, life is beautiful. So the grid, the logos, which is a living, source grid is now fully operational it means our original dna is operational and felicia said in the hyperborea um, show that um, the true human dna is also you know um we said we changing mountain and that's 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 the sort of the center or the cradle or and and so there is a whole of records and there is a split sphinx of uh changing mountain and so that's where the, the human dna is um stored and it's active so this is why original dna is active now so freedom <laughs> But of course, it's going to be a lot of fun to go on through this re-collaboration of our own um, DNA, our own bodies, our own uh, beingness. It's all going to be new because this is, has not been experienced anywhere else in the universe. So buckle up. <laughs> We're going to have one amazing ride. Wild Wisdom Warriors. So I hope you enjoy my little update on what is happening with all the energies. Um, oh, I forgot to talk about Mandela Effect. Or did I? I forgot. Okay. I think I did, but if I didn't, I will have to talk about it in the next video. But I really quickly say everything, maybe I'm going to Everything that's out there about Mandela effect was also copied 
from this, when they got into it in 2003 and got access to it and all of that stuff, and when they tried to copy an original timeline, this is what happened as what we know, the Mandela effect. But because Earth is in charge of the timeline, and that should show you that even the fact, the Mandela effect is visible or noticeable or perceivable is because the copying or the, the, the copy timeline the original that they tried to come glitched that's the glitch is the is the is what we perceive as mandela effect but because earth is in charge of it and the original timeline is in full bloom right now what we see is that mandela effect and and so the funny part about that is that Matrix disciples try to make something out of it and make it into a program because that's all they can do is just make it more programs, make more programs because that's what the template, a personal high mind template and like, you know, remote control people, they have a personal template, like a mold. And then the content of that can just keep changing. They don't even know, well, you know, it's just like, this is what it is. And so what you heard, everything which you heard about Mandela Effect um, is actually this programming that they try to cover up their own glitches. <laughs> and so they had all those, you know, matrix disciples or the, those test subjects of the new matrix go and talk about Mandela Effect in such a weird, you know, like they were little computer bots talking about it, you know, they just, it had no human component to any of it. But right now, because it is the rise of the revealers, we're going to rise, we are revealers, warriors are revealers because you stand strong. And, and so reveal Reveals are coming like floodgates. Right now, revealers, the floodgates are open. Let's go out there and let's reveal all this stuff. Let's be done with it so we can start creating our beautiful future for humanity. So let's do that. So back to those people and the Mandela Effect. Everyone up until now, that is, have talked about Mandela Effect, have talked about from this quote, it was like Mandela Effect was a glitch because they tried to overlay that copy over original, active, original um, Earth timeline. So it glitched, it wasn't working properly, so the Mandela Effect started showing up on this reality, on the, on the foundation, and so they're trying to overlay it. So it's showing up here. So what did they do? They programmed these people to project all kinds of weird things onto here so people don't see what's truly, really happening. And up until very recently, all of these people that talk about Mandela Effect, it was all AI-controlled, AI-programmed, some people, you know, spend hours and hours and hours and hours, uh, you know, uh, spewing out, uh, you know, this overlay programs to, so people don't see the glitches in their attempts. Um, but of course, very recently, and you guys, um, in Wild Wisdom Warriors Group, you guys see we're all about John Lamlash. And he is the only one that is talking about Mandela effect, not from overlay perspective and not from AI perspective, and, but from the true organic timeline. 
So what he's talking about is everything that they try to cover up, he's like uncovering and it's so much fun. I recommend for all of you to watch that. You will be amazed at his decoding of Mandela effect. It's beautiful, it's amazing. And it, it has so much meaning and it will put a, a huge smile on your face <laughs> when you watch those. So, but this is what happened, and, and I've been saying that, but, but there was nobody who could decode that until John. So, so uh, and, and what he's doing is beautiful. So, um, take a look at that, and it's awesome. You just, you're just gonna enjoy um, his series about Mandela Effect, because it's, it's a whole different perspective, and it is perspective from a correction timeline. It's Earth's perspective. It's, Gaia's perspective, it's the living <laughs> being, it's, it's, and, and it's for us as those living human beings that are um, standing without a mother um, right now, uh, because uh, we are here as a warriors standing with our mother, and she's taking us on this direction path. Um, and, and we're working this together because she works through us and we are her too. Um, so it's, it's really beautiful um, to see how many um, people are now starting to talk and reveal information about correction timeline. Um, two years back when I started talking about it, it took a lot of guts for me. It took a lot of guts to say that, that there was correction was on. But I had the guts to say it, <laughs> I'm glad I did. So I thank you so much for listening to me, for watching these videos. <laughs> and sometimes I, I don't know if I'm making much sense, um, but I, I'm so grateful to everyone that watches these videos. I really appreciate it. This is a beautiful time. We just, we just, the living earth and the living light, the logos and the grid, the, the, the grid, it's so incredibly beautiful. And every one of us that wants to stand in it, all we have to do is stand within our own center. And we have access to that grid. So, I thank you all so much. There's been, I've been waiting for this grid ever since I was 13. So it's been a long, long time. <laughs> Let's just say dozens and dozens of years. I've been waiting and expecting this living grid. And here it is. So this is really beautiful. My tears are not of sadness, it's of joy. Because all my life, I've been expecting, watching, and waiting for this. And it's here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for your support. And we're going to celebrate from now on. Life is full on, full time celebration. So celebrate. Let's celebrate. It's a beautiful spring, it's a springtime, and it's a new timeline for humanity. So 
Thank you, Wild Muslim Warriors, for standing, for being so strong. I love you all so much. Until next time, make sure you stay wild and you stay you. Love you all.